When I say Nolans, what comes to your mind? or New Orleans, also known as the Big Easy, is world renowned for its jazz, its Creole cuisine, Mardi Gras, and also the heart of the city, the French Quarter. The French Quarter is where many of the street performers entertain the city's many tourists. Today I'm reviewing Bottle Cap Boys Dancing on Royal Street by Rita Williams Garcia and illustrated by Damien Ward. This picture book is set in the French Quarter and is for ages three to six years old. First, we meet Rudy and Randy, their brothers. Rudy is dressed in green and his brother Randy is dressed in purple. The two brothers meet on Royal Street for a friendly bottle cap performance competition. If you've never seen a bottle cap performance, this is what I mean. So Rudy and Randy grind bottle caps into the bottom of their shoes and the performance begins. The book has a text that is sharp, rhythmic, and in very easy to follow cadence. Rudy tippity tap taps while Randy clickety clack clacks. A crowd gathers and the two brothers hype it up a notch by bantering back and forth the whole time collecting their coins. This book is very well written and super appropriate for the age group, three to six years old. I appreciate how Rita was able to capture the New Orleans culture and how she displayed healthy competition between two brothers. At the end of the day, Randy declares, I'm bottle cap king and so is my brother. This is my favorite illustration. The two brothers are standing back to back, displaying how they have each other's back, and also encouraging each other to see their dreams. I support you, you support me, and they're surrounded by everything New Orleans. There is a glossary in the back of the book that captures places, things, and cuisine either mentioned in the book or illustrated. The author also pens a letter to the reader describing her love affair of New Orleans. So let's talk about the author, Rita Williams Garcia. She's best known for her book, One Crazy Summer, for which she received the Coretta Scott King Award and the Newbery Honor. She was born in Queens. Rita and her siblings were not allowed to play outside in Queens, so she entertained herself by writing. She sold her very first short story to Highlights magazine at the age of 14, and just six years later, she sold another to Essence magazine. Rita says she loves being excited by the story that she's dying to write. So, if you have read this book, or any book by Rita Williams Garcia, let us know what you thought. Sound off in the comments below. Next week, I dive into Elroy Jake's The Dragon Slayer. As always, thank you for watching, and if you want more reviews, don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.